Hey everybody. Hey, happy Sunday everyone. I'm sorry, I know my workout video is late, but what about that game? Man, that Buffalo, Kansas City game, dude. I love games like that. I mean, and I'm not even a huge, I, don't, I mean, I don't care much. I don't care really about Buffalo. I've never really, I mean, it's not that I dislike them. I've just never been a huge fan of them. Kansas City, I've always had a soft spot for ever since Andy Reid became their coach. I cannot, everyone who knows me knows I cannot stand Philadelphia Eagles, like with a passion, I cannot stand them. But I've always loved their coach, Andy Reid when he was their coach well they ended up getting rid of him and now he's been the coach for kansas city and look how well kansas city has been doing over the years and then they won the super bowl last year i do however really hope on this one i do like andy reed but i do feel that that quarterback allen on on buffalo did he did everything he could to win that game i must say and i feel bad i felt bad for him at the end of the game but I do hope that Cincinnati Bengals beat Kansas City because of course I'm gonna pull for Joe Burrow I mean that's my boy you know and he's from LSU Duh. and there's another player from LSU that plays for Cincinnati I've never really cared much for the Bengals but of course I'm gonna watch them and represent you know I mean and so I do hope that they make it to the Super Bowl them in the 49ers I, you know because the Rams were there last year as well and they lost to Kansas City, but it might have been the, uh, was it the, uh, yeah, I think it was the Rams. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it was Kansas City and the Rams, though. Um, but uh, I do hope that it's Cincinnati and 49ers this time going. Um, anyways, what a game, man. Wow. And, and my sister, she thought it was over. She said, oh, they just scored. There's 13 seconds left. I said, baby, it's not over till it's over. And that's the fun thing about football, though, is that, damn, anything can happen. Well done, Kansas City's kicker. I mean, shit, that kid kicked a kid. I mean, kicked a 50 damn yards. Ooh. I mean, what a game. What a game. Wow. That would have been a great Super Bowl game. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, um, I'm not feeling the best. Uh, my cycle is really, really kicking my ass today. Really bad. So, I'm going to focus on legs today, but I swore I was going to do a workout video, and I am. So, um, I'm going to focus on legs again, and then on Wednesday, I'll do abs. The girl I'm supposed to be personal training, it cannot personal train quite yet. So, um, she cannot work out quite yet, and I told her just to let me know when she's ready, and that I would go back to making my videos, um, I'd go back to making my videos three times a week until, you know, she was ready, okay? So, this time, we're not going to do the 50 second, you have 10 second thing. We're going to do a minute. I may only do these once just because of that, me not feeling so, so great. But um, I'm doing things a little different. I'm going to do some exercises that are a little bit different than what, I've, that, than what I usually do. Okay? I got this idea from a lady named Bender. She does Bender Fitness, and she does uh, fitness competitions. And she also says on her website that... Fitness should be free. She's in really good shape. She even has like a pregnancy. We're like, you should have saw her pregnant belly. It was like a ripped six pack with just like a little bump in it. And you're, just, you're just like, girl, damn. Damn her. Okay. Anyway, so I get some of my ideas from her. She, her, her workouts are very tough. So, um, you know, but I, I enjoy them. But I just, I do a little bit. I do them like time. She usually, unless it's her high intensity ones, she don't really like timers usually. Um, unless she's doing like the high intensity ones. But that's also where I got the 10 second. You have 10 seconds to get ready for the next thing and then 50 seconds. But this time, we're just going to do it for a minute. I'm going to get, I'm going to get all the way on my mat. I decided just to stay in my, uh, my navy blue, um, thermal because that's where I'm at today. So this exercise is called a squat calf raise. Wait, let me pause. You may need like a chair or something. I have a doorknob right here to keep my balance. So that's what I'm going to hold on. So you just turn your feet out and then you're going to squat and then and just lift your heels and do a calf raise and then bring it back down. Stay squatted though and then lift the heels again, okay? So you're just gonna stay in this squat and just kinda hold on to something. Actually, I probably could just hold on to the wall because I'm pretty good with the calf raises. 
I usually can get, keep my balance pretty well, but she's holding on to a chair. She like has a chair right here that she's holding on to. And um, she squats pretty low too. I think that's the thing. It's gonna make your legs shake. My legs are shaking. We're just gonna go for a whole minute with this and then we're gonna try something a little different. Cause this is really kind of like a plie squat. You know, man, that football game though, bruh. True story. Woo, this hurts. That game was good. Great day at work too. I love being by myself. Like I didn't see another person there the whole day. I mean, I went upstairs to check for sample one time, one time and I saw somebody then, but okay. Now she calls this the pretzel. So you get down on the mat like this and you fold your, your legs like this and then the back leg goes like this. Okay, and this works your outer thighs. It's gonna work right here. Wait, you pause. It's gonna work right here where all that fat muffin top shit is. Y'all know you know what I'm talking about. And um, so in, that's what it works. I'm sure it's gonna hurt because I've never done this before, but you're gonna lift this back leg and lower and you just lift the back leg. You do, you do have to hold yourself up. So um, she put a hand right here because you're gonna kind of, it's gonna make you like lean over to one side, but that's okay. And then she kind of pulsed. So I was gonna do five, four, three, two, one pulse and then singles. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll pulse again. Let me try to get straight. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll do singles. One. Ooh, this does hurt. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we'll switch sides. Oh, that, oh golly, that does hurt, man, damn. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> then when you get to the other side, man, and you get on that butt cheek, damn, dude, damn, that hurts. All right, oh, let me pause this. I feel like my legs are wrong in this one. I guess not. Okay, now we're gonna lift. Whoops, this front leg can't lift. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, now I got it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. I know this hurts, man. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I, my, my form is probably gonna, I'm gonna have to work on my form with this. I still feel it though. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, now she does this squat. She, oh, oh, see. Whew. She holds a weight for this one, but I'm not gonna hold a weight. Cause I'm gonna see, actually I am gonna hold a weight, but y'all don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just gonna hold a five pound weight for now and just see, cause I've never done it's similar to something I've used to do, but I want to see. So she holds a weight, but you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer, but if you do hold the weight, you're going to hold it like this, okay? And it's going to be down in front of the middle of you. So this is what you're going to do. It's going to come up, and then you're going to straighten your back legs, okay? Then you're going to go back down and bring that weight up. It's called a butt lift squat, okay? Like this, and then bring... And she said, if you cannot keep your back straight, you may want to come up like this. If it's too hard to keep like a straight, um, it's not, not straight like flat across, but it needs to be like straight, you know, like try not to hump over. I'm working on trying not to hump over my own self. Okay. And then she brings it up like this. And then she goes back down like that. And then brings it up and then goes back down like this. This really stretches out the back of your legs either way. I'm not sure, I think my back might be rounding. I'm trying to get it not to, but 
because I'm pretty good with keeping my back straight, but uh, you know, I've been seeing the chiropractor and stuff. So I'm like, because I don't feel like my back legs are getting straight. I was about to say, I don't, that, that didn't feel that hard to me on that one, but I maybe was doing it wrong. It stretches out the back of your legs a lot though. I'll have to watch again to see. So just, I was gonna do those one more round, but as I said, I'm not feeling super great. I am glad I did something a little new though, because I like to change up my routine. That's why I watch other fitness instructors and get ideas from other people. You sleeping so? While I'm working out, what a rough day you had, huh? What, what a rough life to get to sleep all day. You don't work, you don't pay bills, you know, but um, anyway, even though I'm feeling really bad I, and I need to go to bed because I have to wake up really early, even though I'm feeling rough today, I am feeling better like mentally because you know, people, I've just, I've just had enough of people, you know, like I've just, and it's just like, I don't even know why I get like upset by people's actions anymore because I mean, that's how, that's people. It, I mean, that's how they are, you know? And actually my cousin, I'm not even sure if you watch these lace, but I am gonna give a shout out to you because she posted something on her Facebook and it's very true. And it said, stop expecting people to be like you because that's true and that is. I, my mom and I are the exact same way. Like if people we expect people to have the same work ethic as us and they don't and it's like then we get mad like i do not miss work everyone who knows me knows that i will stay i felt like shit today and even thought about leaving early i talked myself out of it and i stayed the whole i always do that even if I, everyone who works with me knows that i never end up leaving i always stay and see it through and it's like and I think that I get aggravated when people miss work for dumb shit. Like, they're like, oh, I have a headache, I'm missing work. I'm like, dude, I, my uterus hurts so bad, I feel like I'm going to vomit. I actually dry eat sometimes. And it's like, you know, but I'm at work. It's like our job is not manual intensive. Like, it's not manual labor. You're sitting on your ass the whole day anyway. I mean, that is what we're doing. Yeah, we're using our brains, but it's like, that's why I make myself work out even like this. And ladies, I know this shit sucks. When you're on your period, you don't feel like doing it, but it does really help with your cramping and it helps so much with any bloating you may have. I'm a bloated cow right now. I feel it in my face. I said, dude, I feel like a damn cow. It's how I feel. You know, your pants don't even fit. I mean, you gotta like use a hair tie to get the pants. Oh my God, it's horrible. I mean, it's horrible. I actually, okay, my jeans didn't fit me like that today, but still, that's how you feel. Like, you don't even want to step on the scale because you probably weigh damn seven pounds more than you usually weigh. You know? Anyway, I hope everyone has a great week. I know tomorrow's Monday. Monday suck. I will see y'all on Wednesday night for sure, though. I may still end up making a workout video Tuesday night instead, depending on when I get back. But, um, Thank you everyone for the support and I will see y'all soon, okay? All right, bye.